Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. We just got back from Rome. So we landed yesterday. We both fell asleep at 7.30 and then we woke up at six. It was a dream. We both slept so well and now we are ready to pack our bags and we're off to the countryside. This is going to be a very wholesome vlog. This is going to be a very calming vlog. We need to go to the countryside to pick up our dog as when we're away, she is always with Bash's parents having the best time. So yeah, we're excited to see her. But yeah, I thought I'd take you guys along to the countryside with me as I never really vlog when I'm there. So I thought it'd be quite fun for you guys to see an insight of what I get up to. Also, it's the Easter weekend, so we won't be working too much. We're going to eat some lovely home-cooked food. We're gonna chill out with the dog and we're gonna go on lovely, lovely walks. I can't wait. Today, I am wearing my Ralph Lauren cap with the little logo. Also my Ralph Lauren knit, which I'm obsessed with. It's given me like Harvard University vibes. This is Bash's dad's leather jacket, which I kindly stole. And then the bottom half, I'm wearing my favorite Calvin Klein boyfriend baggy jeans and my Valentino loafers. So this is very casual for me. It's giving me that countryside vibe, but make it cool. Please guys, excuse the mess behind me. We haven't been able to unpack properly. We haven't been able to tidy up the flat because we're literally racing off to the countryside and we'll give the house some tender loving care when we get back. But let's go. Just like that, we are back in the countryside. Back with tequila, the dog. Back in the Defender, you guys were probably wondering why are they taking the train to the countryside when they have that big, lovely Defender car? But no, we left it in the countryside because we don't think it's safe it left in London. Do you remember in one of my vlogs, our smart car got broken into? And that's because it was left over Christmas for a long period of time and it hadn't been moved. And that would have probably been the same situation if we had left the Defender in London. As you can tell, I'm still a bit croaky. I think I'm still recovering from the Paris-Rome trip, even though we had a really lovely long two nights of sleep in the UK, so I should have recovered by now. But little weak old me, it takes me a long time to recover from things. Maybe I should go to the doctors and get myself checked out and see why I'm always so tired. Be quite a good idea. We are on our way to take Tequila for a walk as she hasn't walked today. So we were really excited to take her for a walk as we love walking and we haven't seen her in a few days. So we thought, why not take her on a really long walk? As I said, guys, this is gonna be a very wholesome, cozy video. It's so windy and it's just started to rain. So I don't know how long this walk is gonna last. <laughs> Look how windy it is. But um, we're gonna try and do our best. I don't think tequila's gonna walk, wanna walk in this weather. But this is the seaside. Here you can buy some fresh fish. Morning. Good morning. Guys, it's so windy, I'm crying. You know when your eyes are just uncontrollably watering because of the wind? I'm <laughs> literally in tears.
morning guys. It is officially the Easter weekend, which means it's officially spring. It makes me so happy. We're gonna do a real comfort thing for Bash and I. It's very nostalgic. We're gonna make cornflake mini egg cakes. It's just such an easy non-baked cake to make that your parents would probably make you during Easter. And both Bash and I, we as kids made these cornflake cakes. So we're gonna relive our childhood and make cake. So the first thing that we're gonna do is melt some chocolate. And the chocolate we've decided to melt is the mini egg bar because they have mini eggs broken up inside. And that means there'll be like pieces of mini eggs within the cornflakes. But I think the old school way to do it was probably with like a dairy milk bar, just yeah. melting yeah, anyway. normal chocolate. chocolate. But we're gonna make an elite one. Okay, mash it up. I'm so excited. So here we're boiling water and we've put a bowl on top so that the chocolate melts like this. So as we leave the chocolate to melt, we're gonna pour cornflakes into a bowl. You know what, you make them and I'm just gonna tell everyone how to do it. I don't know like- Cause I've never is... actually made them. My mum always, always made them for me. I mean, I don't know how much is enough. Well, that I think that's enough cause we're not gonna eat too many, are we? I could honestly eat to like a rock. So these are the cornflakes, and then the melted chocolate is gonna go in there. It looks a bit lumpy, but it's fine. Okay guys, it's now time to add the melted chocolate in with the cornflakes. <laughs> oh, the nostalgia. I think we might need more chocolate, you know. You know, we should put some salt. Oh, yes, yes, that is such a good idea. Not too much though. That's perfect, that's perfect. Now I know why mum's made this for Easter, because it's just so easy. Like, it involves no baking, like you're busy with the kids. Well, the kids get involved, then that's, that's easy for you to get involved. Did you? My mum never made it for me. What? Who I made it for you? We had a neighbour. Yeah. And her mum made it for us. And then I was like, yeah, I'm making these for mum. Your mum's very, very healthy. I don't think she would. No, yeah. but for Easter, it was anything else. Yeah, my mum always made these for me. I didn't really enjoy cooking when I was little. I don't think we need more chocolate. No? Yeah, it's really chocolatey, to be honest. Ooh, yummy. And I need the spoon. Yeah. That was really hot and a bad decision. <laughs> Hi, Mushu. Wow. That's a work of art, that. Now you just scoop the cornflaked chocolate into the cups. This is how they should look. Like that. Now we put them in the fridge. How long do we put them in the fridge for? Until they get solid. Mm. Now we're eating the leftover cornflakes. Okay. In the fridge they go. It's in perfect. We've got to take the dog for a walk. So this weekend, I am doing no makeup. I'm not gonna let my skin breathe. I feel like over the period of Paris and Rome, I was wearing makeup every single day and it's just good to let your skin have a break. I'm just moisturizing my skin with my favorite lemma cream. And this is the moisturizing fresh cream. I find that this cream is a lot lighter than the other creams. And then just some lip balm from Elizabeth Arden, and this is just their tin version. But I usually use their tube, but this is just easy to travel with. And now this fresh face is ready for a walk. Wow, the weather today is so much nicer than yesterday. You guys saw how cloudy and windy it was yesterday and I was even crying because the wind was just pulling the tears out of my face. But today is so pleasant and it's so eastery. I haven't felt this festive over Easter in so long. Look at the sky, guys. Look at this view. We just made Easter cakes. We're on a lovely walk. It's still windy, but it's just so pleasant. It's so funny because whenever I'm in London, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to be in London. I need to live in London because I'm so busy in London and work is here. But then whenever 
<laughs> Tequila, what are you doing? So there's shotguns in the fields, but it's like farmers. It's nothing to worry about, but Tequila hates the gunshots, just the way dogs hate fireworks. And she is like... Oh. Come. Oh. Sorry guys, as I was saying, whenever I'm in London, I'm like, oh my God, I need to stay in London. And when we come to the countryside, Tequila, it's okay. When we come to the countryside, I realise why I want to live in the countryside. But can we maybe have the best of both worlds somehow, Bash? One day. We want to live in London and then escape to the countryside, to our countryside house on the weekend. Okay, I'm going to have to stop filming, guys, and attend to my terrified dog. This is so sad. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I think we should head home because she's really scared. Okay. It's okay. We've been so excited to come home from the walk so that we can try our coffee cakes. Oh, I should be having a cup of tea with this. Mm. So good. We have decided to have a very early dinner and we are making a soulful jerk chicken bowl. This is one of our favorite things to eat. It does take a little bit of time because there's so many dishes around the jerk chicken, but it's so worth it and it's gonna be so good. So I've just started on the coleslaw. This for coleslaw is a lifesaver. Let me show you. Let me cut the nasty bit off. You place the onion on the mandarin and you literally, you just do this. It slices it to the perfect slice size. So you can actually choose on the settings how thick or how thin you want it. And it's so hard to cut onion this thin. And this just makes it so much easier and it shreds it perfectly. Homemade coleslaw is so good that I can never eat store-bought coleslaw ever again. I think Nando's coleslaw is okay, but other than that, I can't. Homemade is the way. It's just so much fresher and you can add whatever you want in it. Like I like to add lime in my coleslaw, which not a lot of people do. I add like a little bit of honey to make it sweet. Oh my God, my eyes are watering from the onions. The main ingredient in coleslaw is cabbage. I'm using red and white cabbage. Again, I can just slice it on the mandolin and it makes life so much quicker and easier look at that you get the perfect slices oh this is gonna be so good this might be the best coleslaw i've ever made we really need to buy one of these for our flat in london bash amazon that asap okay this looks a little bit nasty but this is the jerk chicken that i marinated earlier so that's been marinating for like a good eight hours so I'm just going to pop that in the oven. For the carrots, for the coleslaw, I'm going to grate it because I don't believe the mandolin will slice the carrots the way I want them. I want them to be really small and fine. So, yeah. So this is how I wanted my carrots to look. And grating it is perfect. I think that was two carrots, so I think it needs two more. I've definitely made way too much coleslaw for two people but we can have some tomorrow for lunch or something so bash is frying garlic and ginger for the rice it's gonna be fire the star of the show is mayonnaise what's coleslaw without mayonnaise if i can open this oh i forgot before i do the dressing of the coleslaw i'm also going to add some chopped up coriander and a little bit of fresh garlic Look, some people love coriander, some people hate coriander. I love coriander. Some people say that coriander is the devil's lettuce. I think dill is the devil's lettuce. That's the one herb that I cannot do. Dill, to me, just tastes like soap. It tastes a bit bitter, a bit sap. Oh, I can't even... You know what? I haven't had a lot of dill in my life to be able to explain how it tastes. But every time I've had it, I've had to spit out whatever I'm eating because it's that disgusting. Time for the mayonnaise. This looks so fresh and so good. I'm gonna do a lot of mayonnaise. I'm probably gonna do pretty much the whole jar. Okay, no, I'm gonna do four big scoops and see how far we get. 
I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, so it all mixes up a little bit easier. And it is like a salad, so oh, there you go. That just gives it the smoothness that it needed. This looks so good. Okay, it's going everywhere, but you know, it is what it is. One half of a lime juice. And not to forget some salt and pepper. Will you do a taste test? How is it? Does it need anything? A bit more lime, maybe. A bit more lime. Okay, I only did half lime, so I'll do a whole lime. Well, you know me, Anna. I like it. You're a zesty guy. And that is homemade coleslaw. So good. Okay, so for my chicken, which is in the oven, I like to drizzle it with a dressing using the marinade that has been marinating in. In the jar, I've just put fresh chopped coriander, lime, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. And then this is the seasoning that I marinated my chicken in. I know it's not fresh, it's not homemade, but I really, really like this one. And I'm gonna put a spoonful into here but not too much because it's very very spicy and I can handle spice in the moment but literally five hours later I'll be on the toilet and I know that's disgusting but I just my stomach can't handle it so I'm just gonna mix the flavoring in here and that's gonna go over the chicken because jerk chicken can be quite dry sometimes it's not like a saucy saucy dish and I like my chicken a little bit saucy. So yeah, that's gonna be drizzled all over. It's gonna be delicious. Guys, I cannot wait to eat this. Here I am frying some plantain. This might be our favorite part of the meal. It looks like a banana, but it's not. It's very sweet, but not as sweet as an actual banana. And it's so good with salt and lime drizzled all over once they're fried. Oh. Okay, so my jerk chicken is done and I'm just dressing it with the dressing I made for it. I'll give you a better look. Oh my goodness, it smells insane. The plantain has been fried. It looks burnt, but it's meant to be that black. Our feast is finished. We have coleslaw, jerk chicken, plantain, salad. That's a palm heart salad with lettuce and rice. The salad looks a little bit sad, but it's only because the plate that we served it on is bigger than the salad itself. But I promise it's good. Is it really spicy? Oh no. Oh, I just have to have loads of coleslaw. Or maybe I just like, I don't know. Just get a grip, Sarah. That just looks like a hug. It looks so good. And really healthy as well. Okay, let's give this a taste test. Let's see how spicy this chicken really is. I hope the chicken's not too dry. Let's get a little bit of everything on the fork. Okay, this is a big ass fork. Mmm, <laughs> the chicken is spicy, but I can deal with it, I think. The rice is really good, Bash. You killed it. And the coleslaw is so good. I can already feel that I'm gonna be eating this too quickly. So I'm, I really, I wanna take my time with this meal. Do you guys find that when you really, really like something, you eat it because so quickly as if it's gonna run away. But the slower you eat your food, the better. It's better for your digestion, it's healthier, but I really eat so, so fast. Okay, let's go. Morning guys, we're in the car, we're driving to a walk. It's a really, really beautiful place. And where we're going, you won't hear farmers gunshots. So tequila won't get scared and then we won't have to turn back. I slept really badly last night. And I'm on my period. And my food was spicy, so my stomach hurt. So it's like this morning, everything just affected me and I'm struggling. But hopefully this walk will sort me out. And we had blue skies.
I get out, please? Excuse me, Mushu. No? Good afternoon guys, again another beautiful day, it makes me so happy. We had a lovely lovely morning, we had the best walk, it was just so quiet and calm and then I had for breakfast fried eggs and rice. There was leftover rice, I'd never usually have rice for breakfast but I was like you know what, they do this in Asia so I'm going to do this myself. I am really full but we must make lunch and I'm going to show you guys how to make pesto from scratch. It's so good and so, so easy and perfect for these spring days. So I always leave cloves down here at Bash's and these are just the most random pieces. I don't know how my sporty and rich tracksuit ended up here. And I have these like, <laughs> I don't know, they're like just these stains on my tracksuit from pen. I remember my pen leaked and I did try to wash it off and it started coming off, but it's still stained. And then this really old Ganny top. But like I said, I'm not putting much care into my appearance whilst I'm here during the Easter weekend because look, I just, I just want to have a weekend where I relax. I don't have to worry about taking pictures. And I know you guys don't really care or judge much how I'm dressed on this channel. So I'm just being the most me. So I have fresh basil, I have four bunches. I think that four is enough for like four people and this makes the pesto very saucy and Bash loves his pesto saucy. The more basil, the better. And I'm just gonna trim off the stalks as we don't need them. And then I'm going to also roughly chop the basil just so it blends a bit quicker. If I really wanted to do this the old school way, I'd mash this up in a pesto and mortar but I don't have time and I just want to get this done and I want this to be as quick as possible so just gonna throw it into a Nutribullet. So I'm gonna start off with half of the bunch because when there's too much ingredient in the cup it's a bit harder to blend so I'm gonna do everything like half and half. We're gonna glug extra virgin olive oil probably want quite a lot just because this is like what helps to blitz it into a smooth uh, consistency. Okay, for now I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to do juice of one lemon. We like our pesto very zesty so for us the more lemon the better. Toasted pine nuts. If they're not toasted, just give them a little sear, sear in a pan with no oil just to get them a bit brown. These are already toasted, so I don't need to do that. Like a small handful is good. One large garlic clove. Just gonna crush it and then take the skin off and then finely chop it as well. Hi, Bash. Hello. As easy as that, I'm going to blitz it. Oh gosh, guys, it's broken. Oh my God, that's not good. Okay, phew, that started working. Now I'm going to add the rest of the basil, just because I want as much sauce as possible. And even if you have leftovers, you can have, you can save it in the fridge and you can have it with scrambled eggs. You could have some pesto on toast with mozzarella cheese. There's so much that you can do with pesto and you can just have it in the fridge for a couple of days. Nothing beats it fresh, but it's still so good when it's just been in the fridge a day or two. I'm gonna add some more nuts. You know what, I'm just gonna do the rest of the packet because I love the taste of the nuts. How good does that look? So we're not gonna have some just yet. We're gonna make some lunch for Bash's parents and then we're gonna save ourselves uh, pesto for dinner. Hope that's enough. That should be good. We're gonna keep that in the fridge. So I just placed half of the pesto in here for later. But it's so smooth and green and delicious. Let's have a taste. Mmm, really good. Yeah, if you've never made pesto from scratch, I would highly recommend giving it a go. You'll never want to buy store-bought ever again. 
I'm a bloody diva, so I'm making Bash drive me half an hour to John Lewis to go and buy some new pillows for the bed. We have some pillows from Soho House, and as soon as they arrived, we were like, this is not what we expected. We love the pillows at Soho Farmhouse. So we were like, okay, whatever pillows are online will be the pillows that were used at Soho Farmhouse. I can confirm, guys, that is not the case pillows were completely different and we always have a bad sleep when we're here so it's time to make a change and time to buy some new pillows some really good ones the ones that we have at home are from john lewis and they have been my favorite pillow ever so we want to buy exactly those enough pillow talk bash is driving as per usual sun is shining this is such a vibe. I honestly, this is the first few days that we've had good weather in the UK since the winter, and it's just so fun. Oh, top down. I'm kind of in the mood to spend money. I think we should buy some really nice things for the house since it's spring now. Maybe some spring scented candles, some like floral light candles. I think candles is the last thing. Because we have so many candles already so at home. Yeah, we do have a lot That's of candles. Yeah, true. Maybe we can buy some new plant pots. So then we can buy loads of plants to put around our flat in London. I don't want to be a buzzkill, but we're not good at taking care of plants. <laughs> oh, Bash! What, what can we buy? Maybe we can buy some new bed sheets. Budget approved. Perfect. Okay, we'll buy some new bed sheets. We're gonna buy your parents some new cooking knives because theirs are incredibly blunt. And then we were also gonna buy a chopping board for meat because they have a glass chopping board which is really annoying to cut on. Everything slides around so we need to get plastic chopping board for meat. And maybe I'll buy some new skincare things. I would also love a new cosmetic bag. I find it so hard to find nice, cute cosmetic bags. So yeah, this is the view guys, look at this. There you can see the peak of the castle. Sorry guys, we got distracted by the views. Oh, today is such a dreamy day, I feel so good. Exactly what we are looking for. This one. Soft medium. Put your face on it. Try it. Oh, yeah. Let's get two of those. That is definitely it, right? Success. I just found these. They're flexible chopping boards, so you can literally place it on the wood and it'll be really easy to clean. So that saves us buying like a whole heavy chopping board. But these chopping boards look so nice. It's here in the middle. They're like packs. They're so cute. This is exactly the same knife that we have at home and it's amazing. It is by Wustdorf. Let's get your mum that knife. She'll love that. Look at all these sets. I love sets. I think I'm a set girl. I could literally spend all day looking at homeware things. I think everything's so intriguing. Ooh, quick pasta recipe cooker. What is that? I've never seen that in my life. Should we look at bed sheets or should we leave it? You want one of these? It's a chili flask that keeps your drink warm and cold. You have one, right? Yeah, I have one. Can I have one? You can have my one at home. What else? No, get one. If you want one, get one. Do you know what I really want? I want one of these for spaghetti. Bash's mum needs a new dish scrub brush and I thought this one was cute. <laughs> this is so random. We got back from John Lewis and then we literally just chilled for a little bit, watched some TV and now we just jumped into our old smart car. We haven't driven this little thing in ages. It's such a difference being from the Defender into the smart car. But the smart car is just so easy to run around to do errands with. 
So we just thought we're gonna jump in the car and grab an Indian takeaway. Another one. This is our second Indian takeaway of the week. Naughty. Thank you.